What's up guys, Chris here, aka The Clever Guru. Now let's talk more about this Disney reservation system that's put in place for the Disney theme parks that are scheduled to open up July 11th for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom and July 15th for Epcot and Hollywood Studios. The first thing I need to mention before anything is that in order to get into the parks, when the parks reopen, you must have a park ticket as well as a reservation system. Now this is due to Disney wanting to limit guests inside the theme park. How many guests is that? We don't really know, but if Shanghai Disneyland can give us a clue, Disney limited that park to 30% capacity. Now let's dive into this reservation system and see how it works. The first thing you need to do, you need to make sure of, is ensure that you have the My Disney Experience, whether it's on your phone, your desktop, or somewhere accessible in order to use this reservation system. This reservation system is known as the Disney Park Pass. So, with this, we do know that there is no park hopper option tied into this reservation system. So. Whatever park that you choose is the park that you will be going to that day. The park reservation system begins June 22nd, 2020 for those guests that already have a hotel reservation in place. This allows them to pick a reservation date for a park all the way through September 26, 2021. Based this is based off of their ticket dates, when they're going uh, to the parks, and the expiration on their tickets. The next important date is June 26, 2020. This is when annual pass holders can start utilizing the reservation system. When annual pass holders log into My Disney Experience, they will see that the entire month will be highlighted for them to choose their reservation. Do not worry for those that are not annual passes. Annual passes, pass holders, are limited to three reservations at one time. So, if I'm an annual pass holder, I can only choose three different days for a reservation. Once that, those three days are used, or once I've used one of those, then I can schedule another one. The rumor, and it's not confirmed, is Disney will put implications on those who miss their reservation by banning them for a period of time if that were to happen again this is not confirmed it's just a rumor but it, it helps allow a more fair process for those that are not annual pass holders. annual pass holders also need to understand that those days that they paid for that were missed due to the pandemic will be added to the end of their pass along with an additional month so again, if I'm an annual pass holder and we missed 100 days total during the pandemic, then 100 days will be added at the end of my annual pass at the expiration date plus an additional month. So it allows, Disney has allowed annual pass holders to have an extended time frame with their pass. The next day is June 28, 2020. This date pertains to existing individuals who hold a Disney ticket. This group of individuals can utilize the reservation system in this day, and the reservation system will be tied into their tickets. So you are limited to whatever, how many days are left on the tickets or the expiration of the tickets. Make sure all this is connected to your My Disney experience in order to do this. Along with the existing ticket holders, on June 28, Disney will begin reopening the, the ability to book new vacations. However, for the remainder of 2020, there are no new ticket sales going on at this time. So if you book a vacation for the year 2020, you will only be able to receive a hotel reservation. You will not be able to get tickets at this time. 
the next tickets that are available through Disney are 2021. Now this can change and Disney has stated they want to see how this process that they put in place is working in order to see if they can allow more guests to come into the theme parks. When booking your reservation, you will be allowed to check the calendar to see the availability of theme park reservations that have been taken up in order to gauge when you want to go on your Disney trip. Prior to the theme parks opening, there are important dates for cast members as well as annual pass holders. July 7th and July 8th, Disney is offering cast members a cast member preview. Now, they are not allowed to provide guests with them. It's just simply cast members only and that cast member without friends or without guests. On 7-9 or July the 9th and July the 10th, annual pass holders will be given a preview into the theme parks. These theme parks on these two on these four days are limited to Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. With annual pass holders, the same rule applies in that they will not be able to provide guests to come in with them. In order to get in, they must be an annual pass holder and they must have made a reservation day available for one of those days, either July the 9th or July the 10th. The next day, two dates to remember, is July 13th and July 14th. This is for cast members only to preview Hollywood Studios. Annual pass holders have not received any word if they will get some type of preview to these two theme parks. I suspect they will not. However, on these two dates, cast members will be again to allow a preview of those of Hollywood Studios and Epcot. And of course, on July 11th, Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom opens up to the public that have reservations as well as tickets. And July 15th, Epcot and Hollywood Studios opens up to those that have tickets and reservations. Again, I want to emphasize this is a system that is not complex but seems to be um, frustrating to, to in order to do in order to do the Walt Disney World. As I stated in the previous videos, you're paying a hefty premium to go down to Walt Disney World without and, and during 2020, you're not going to get to experience all the magic. So again, I want to give you that question of is it worth going to Walt Disney World Maker 2020? And you might think the past two videos that I do are totally against Walt Disney World and Disney Company. I'm not. I love Disney and I want to emphasize that I'm a Disney fanatic. However, I'm a realistic Disney fanatic and knowing that it's not, in my opinion, it's not worth it this year in going to Walt Disney World. On top of that, I kind of want to see how this reservation system works out for Disney and seeing how it's implemented, the success of it, and the reviews that guests are experiencing. Another thing that needs to be addressed that has not been addressed as of yet is how you're going to be transported around the Walt Disney theme park. Whenever this comes about, I'll be sure to let you know what Disney has illustrated. I do suspect though, with the use of social distancing, that not a, everything will be filled up in terms of the buses, monorails, and the gondola systems. Therefore, possibly leaving you a longer wait time in order to get to these theme parks. Again, whenever this comes about, be sure to share that out with you um, and, and, and let you know what Disney has illustrated. Now guys, this concludes the video of the Disney Parks Reservation System. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you gained some information on it. And I hope that you take it in consideration in determining, is it worth for you going to Walt Disney World in 2020? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts on how this reservation system is implemented and what do you think the success is going to be with this system in place. If you enjoyed the contents of this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button 
and hit that like button as well. Also, don't forget to ring the bell and to let you know the future videos in place. I want to thank you for joining me today, guys. This is Clever Guru. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.